Hello, welcome to JTAC. Uh, today we're going to run through a couple of spring curve tests um, using our new um, Andriani DS1 spring dyno. Um, you may want to check out our other video with this um, where we're comparing a fork, um, coil and air spring. Um, there's a link down below, you can check that out. Um, so this test we're going to test um, well two different shocks but th three different springs. Um, we've got a RockShox Super Deluxe Air with a Debonair air can first. Then we're going to put a Magneg on um, and then we're going to use a Super Deluxe coil um, with a, a standard RockShox linear coil spring on and show you um, how much progression you get out of the bump stop and how similar it is um, to the spring of the spring curve of the Magneg. Um, so we'll, we'll run a test on this first and we'll show you the result. to see quite a quite a sharp rising rate in the first initial part of the stroke uh, the little depression there is the uh, balance point where the positive and negative air changes balance so you get a little bit of a dead spot um, then after there it sort of flattens off a little bit through the middle of the stroke and then ramps up towards the end um, there's actually um, no volume spacers um, in this it's a uh, a 205 by uh, 62.5 um, trunnion mount shock um, with zero volume spaces in. So what we'll do now, we'll pop the magneg on, um, run a test and show you the difference. So now we've got the magneg fitted, let's test that. see with the magneg we've got a softer initial part of the stroke you've got the balance point flat spot again um, and then it's it's fairly linear through the middle of the travel and then progresses up very similar to the debonair towards the end again that's with with no spaces there's no spaces in the negative or in the positive um, chamber so uh, next we'll we'll get a coil shock and pop that in and show you the difference Right, so now we've got the coil shock mounted, uh, super deluxe coil. Um, we've got uh, a standard 400 pound per inch rock shock spring on there. So we'll give this a test and show you the difference. change the colours so we've got the green line is the debonair so that is the firmest through the first part of the travel um, and then the, the rate flattens off and then progresses up just towards the end again that was that's no volume of space is fitted red line is the magneg which is slightly softer in that initial part softer through the middle but more of a linear curve through the middle very similar to the coil shock um, and then progressing towards the end in pretty much the same uh, rate as the, the debonair. Again, that was no spaces in the positive or the negative. Um, then the blue line is the coil shot. So you can see through the first part of the, sh the stroke, it's, it's much softer. So that initial touch is going to be uh, much more compliant. Uh, you're going to get higher grip levels. Um, and then a constant rate right through the middle of the, st the stroke gives you a nice consistent um, good platform to push off and then you'll see just at the end there that is when the the bump stop comes into play and you've actually got more progression than the two air springs which obviously you can those air springs can be set up to be more progressive um, 
but it just goes to show you how much progression there actually is in a coil shock. Um, so when, it, when there's people saying that on some frames a coil shock will, will not suit um, because they've got say maybe only 10% progression in the linkage, um, it still can be with a, a correctly tuned um, coil shock it still can work. Um, it doesn't go for all coil shocks, some coil shocks have got very small bottom out bumpers um, and it's hard to get high enough damping levels without it being harsh so it doesn't apply to all of them but um, but certainly there, there are options there to um, have a, a coil shock with a linear spring on um, still obviously works um, in a progressive nature very similar to the air spring um, and also going back to the uh, to the air spring if you um, if you want that um, adjust, say if you've got a very progressive bike, like say a YT Capra or something, um, but you don't want to run a coil, you want to run air. If you go for the Magneg, it gives you a very similar curve to the to the coil shock, um, but you've got that adjustability of an air shock. So if you want to play around with your pressures a little bit, um, you've got that adjustability. Um, so it's uh, when, for example, um, we get some people um, asking, um, I've got a YT Capra, for example, can I fit an air shock or should I just run coil because it's so progressive? We'll say, well, you can, if you if you use the Magneg in this instance, um, it will be suitable because it's not, although it, most air shocks are quite progressive, this can be set up to be as progressive as the coil shock so it's definitely an option so uh, i think that about covers it if you've got any questions uh, comment down below um, otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time